This is a lingual tonsil. Here is some more lymphoid tissue because you could see lymphoid nodules intermingled with an overlying stratified squamous mucosa setting in a area in which there are numerous glands chiefly mucinous glands like you see here all throughout here and here and here as well as some serous glands which you see throughout here uh, this is more than just a few sub uh, mucosal lymphoid follicles because it is uh, intimately intermingled with the squamous epithelium of the surface this can qualify as a type of mucosal lymphoid tissue we call tonsil. We know it's not a pharyngeal tonsil because the overlying epithelium is squamous rather than pseudostratified ciliated columnar and we know that it's not a palatine tonsil because it is occurring in a framework in which you see it surrounded by numerous mucinous serous glands as well as big bands of classical striated skeletal muscle. So the only place in the body you can have this is a tongue and that's why this is a lingual tonsil. And these fibers here will verify the fact that uh, they're cut transversely and have their nuclei all at the periphery, whereas the fibers which are cut longitudinally, uh, I think I could convince you very, very quickly, have these little cross striations, which I'm sure I could see better than you. And for that reason, I'm going to go to an area which I hope you can see them better. Perhaps here? Yeah, I think you could see striations a little bit better along here. These are all striations. Dark light, dark light, dark light, dark light. And these are all glands, and you can see their cytoplasm is clear and foamy and mucinous with the nucleus at the base. So these are mucinous glands. We can also see that there are also some other glands uh, intermingled with these mucinous glands in which the nuclei are rounder, less complex, not so close to the base, and have a pinker cytoplasmic staining rather than whitey, whiter. So these are the serous glands uh, or associate, um, accessory salivary glands of the tongue which secretes serous material whereas the majority of these accessory salivary glands secrete mucin uh, which are these whiter areas here. But that's not why we're here. We're here to identify uh, and show you why the lymphoid tissue is uh, clearly uh, lingual tonsil because first of all we identified the fact that it's the tongue because of the skeletal muscle and secondly that's reinforced by the fact that the mucosa of the tongue like we see here is stratified squamous mucosa and yes this mucosa dips into the lymphoid tissue as it did with the palatine and pharyngeal tonsil and like the palatine tonsil it's squamous lined but it's not as intricately squamous lined. It could probably be called a crypt, uh, and it certainly is, but it is not a uh, palatine tonsil because it's on the tongue. All of these cells are lymphoid cells, lymphocytes. Some of the lymphoid cells uh, penetrate in the middle of the squamous epithelial uh, linings. Uh, Otherwise, the rest of this is just classical tongue because of accessory salivary glands, both the mucinous type here, the serous type here, some of the ducts of these uh, salivary glands, like here, uh, a lot of blood vessels, which I don't have to point out to you, and uh, skeletal muscle fibers cut both longitudinally, like you see here, as uh, transversely as you see here, because the skeletal muscle fibers within the tongue basically run kind of uh, every which way. And so on that note, I will run every which way as well. And uh, thank you very much.